Hi, this is Ben Finio with Science Buddies, and this video is an introduction to the 2018 Floor Engineering Challenge. The goal of this year's challenge is to build a ball launcher and receiver that can successfully launch a ball as far as possible and catch it without letting it touch the ground. Your final score is based on the distance between the launcher and receiver and the amount of materials you use. You must build your launcher and receiver using only a specific list of materials, a corrugated cardboard base, paper or plastic cups, a wooden ruler, paper, wooden pencils, rubber bands, paper clips, and clear adhesive tape. The ball is a crumpled up sheet of aluminum foil. For details on size requirements in both metric and English units, maximum quantities, and point costs for each material, see the link to the project's written instructions at the end of this video. There are countless different ways you can launch and catch the ball. For example, you could build a catapult that is powered by a rubber band, or a catapult that is just powered by your finger. You could build something totally different, like a slingshot or a trebuchet or any other design you can think of. You can catch the ball with a cup, a folded piece of paper, or anything else made from the materials that prevents the ball from touching the ground. There are some rules you need to follow to enter the contest. See the written instructions for complete details, but here is a quick overview. First, remember that you can only use the items in the approved materials list. The launcher must fit on a piece of cardboard that is no larger than 12 by 12 inches. There is no height restriction. The receiver cannot be more than 12 inches wide by 12 inches long, again with no height restriction. While you can build the launcher and receiver with a team of multiple people, only one person can operate the launcher at a time. You can use one hand to hold down the cardboard base of the launcher when launching. You can use one finger from your other hand to activate the launcher and launch the ball. For example, for this design, I can press down on this end of the ruler with one finger to launch the ball. The receiver must be freestanding. This means no one can touch or hold on to the receiver during the test, and it cannot be taped to the ground. If the receiver falls over when the ball lands in it, that is okay as long as the ball remains in the receiver and does not touch the ground. For a test to be successful, the ball can never touch the ground. That means it cannot bounce into the receiver or bounce out after landing in the receiver initially. Finally, there is no limit to the number of tests you can do to try for a higher score, so don't be afraid of failure. You can always try again. However, you can only submit one official score per team. Again, see the link to the written instructions at the end of this video for complete rules on submitting an entry to the contest. Good luck and have fun with the 2018 Floor Engineering Challenge.